Great, Chris, thank you so much. Well, in the last few hours, we heard from Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr, and it was about a Fulton County grand jury's decision to indict dozens of people on RICO charges. And this is tied to an opposition movement against the future Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. We want to get straight out to 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter, who actually spoke with Carr as well as activist groups today. Hey, Brittany. Hey, good evening. The attorney general just spoke with us inside of the Georgia Department of Public Safety here behind us. He was standing alongside officials with APD, GBI, and other law enforcement partners. But in the indictment, he's targeting 21 defendants. He tells us this has been a long time coming. As I've said for months, the state of Georgia would not tolerate the repeated acts of violence and destruction that have occurred in an attempt to stop the construction of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. I vowed as Attorney General to hold accountable those responsible for those actions. According to the indictment, 61 people are being charged with violating the state's Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, or RICO Act. Some are also facing domestic terrorism and arson charges. The indictment lists 225 incidents in which we allege that the defendants worked together to prevent the construction of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. The indictment cast the opposition movement, known as the Defend the Atlanta Forest Group, as militant anarchists, adding each individual being indicted knowingly joined a conspiracy to prevent the training center from being built. Meanwhile, community activists say they believe the timing is suspect. This is an attempt to criminalize the movement and to make sure that the light is shines someplace else as opposed to having people talk about the fact that Cop City is something that's not wanted in this city. Opponents have been working to gather signatures for weeks now as a part of a vote to stop Cop City referendum petition. The Stop Cop City Coalition releasing a statement just hours ago saying they believe the AG's charges are meant to intimidate protesters and legal observers. And Governor Brian Kemp also just released a statement to us commending the efforts of AG Carr in bringing about this indictment targeting those 61 defendants. He also said that Georgians are his top priority. Guys, 